The latest flu outbreak has us scared nearly to death about germs. A different view now from Josh Landis and Mitch Butler of The Fast Draw. Millions of people are worried about catching cold and with good reason. As we all know, the swine flu is infecting people around the world. We should be smart, wash our hands and stay home if we don't feel well. But we shouldn't be paranoid because it turns out most of the bugs on us are actually on our side. You might remember War of the Worlds, in which germs came to the rescue. When humans couldn't save themselves, it was germs who killed the alien invaders. And in some ways, that's not too far off. For starters, they help us eat. Without all the bacteria in our guts, we wouldn't be able to digest the nutrients in a lot of our favorite foods. They boost our immune system. All these foreign bodies living inside of our bodies, they balance out. The good ones battle with the bad ones, keeping the microbes that might harm us in check. And it's a good thing most bugs are good because there are a hundred trillion, that's trillion with a T, microbial cells in our bodies, outnumbering human cells 10 to one. So there's more of them in you than there is you in you. Courtney Humphreys is a science writer. She's written for Harvard Medical School. She says that this has scientists thinking of the human body as a kind of super organism. When you're talking about whether we're healthy or not, you know, it's, um it's not just our bodies as separate individual things and then the bacteria. It's that we're, we're functioning together as an organism. So now dirt is our friend. There's even something you could call a dirt movement. Doctors know kids exposed to common germs develop healthier immune systems. That's the dirty little secret of the booming hand sanitizer business. I'm just saying, good thing the aliens in War of the Worlds didn't have hand sanitizer. And listen to this, the food industry has an appetite for germs. It puts bacteria into food and calls it probiotics. Creepy crawlies that are good for you. Even viruses, those nasty little cell hijackers, have helped us. Our genes, which evolved over billions of years, have been shaped in part by the viruses around us. Researchers say genes that control placenta growth and our immune system appear to be viral in origin. Nobel Prize winner Philip Sharp says as much as 50%, half, of our DNA was shaped by viruses. And the same mechanism that makes the flu so infectious can help us as well. Scientists have learned to reprogram viruses so that they attack enemy cells in our bodies and leave the rest of us unharmed. So we don't yet know what the swine flu will do, but those trillions of other microbes in your body, the ones that won't kill you, they make you stronger.